So the, there is a thing we do over here in the UK um, that some of you may find a bit weird. Uh, it's a it's a kind of way of us, um, I suppose, controlling traffic without having lights and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I, I'm trying to think. I mean, I know France has them. I know Germany has them. Uh, obviously, America, you don't have them because because um, I don't know. Maybe they would be too difficult for you. There you go. Controversial. No. So it's it's called the roundabout. Um, so so basically, when when two roads meet. You know, and cross each other, and the potential people turning left or right, all that kind of stuff. We put a roundabout in place, um, and uh, the simple rule for a roundabout is: you give way to anything on the roundabout, and anything from your right. Um, so, right, here's a roundabout. Now, I'm turning right at this roundabout, so I give way to anything coming down there, and these two would give way to me. Um, that that's the simple rule is you give way to things coming from the right now you may think well what if you've got one long steady line of traffic <coughs> coming from one direction no one else is going to be able to move well so that that can you know that that can be an issue but you know, generally, if if road users are courteous to each other, you know, are not kind of breaking the speed limit or trying to rush onto the roundabout, that kind of thing um, shouldn't happen. There you go. Shouldn't happen. Now, it does because people are twats. Um, you know, if... Uh, and I'm sure you'd agree. If everyone in the, if everyone in the world just took a couple of breaths, you know, and just breathed out a bit, you know, extended the gap between them and the person in front, stopped trying to make, you know, that next impossible gap in front of them, and just thought, well, you know, if somebody else gets in front of me, let you know, that's it. But the the world would be a nicer place, and roundabouts would work. Um, I mean, generally, you get them. Uh, yeah, gen generally, you get you get them on. Um, you know, they work best when you've got a main road and a minor road kind of crossing because the the traffic in the main road kind of keeps the minor roads at bay a bit, so the minor roads aren't going that much. Now, occasionally, um, because because people are twats um, and the planners get it a bit wrong or or whatever um, you know uh, a minor road gets more use than they thought it would the whole thing breaks down so you get like um, you get a big major road and no one can join the roundabout because the minor road is blocking it all the time the people coming from there is blocking it so then then they put lights in and and it's at that point where I think, what, why why do you have a roundabout with lights? What's what's the point? The whole point of a roundabout is you give way to the right. That's the whole point. If the traffic isn't working, then take the roundabout out. Put um put a set of lights in. Put a you know put a crossroads in or something. Just you know the, the I think the. I think the whole point of a roundabout is that you don't need um, you don't need lights or any control on it. It's it's all done. It's all done by the power of of thought and checking your right hand side. It's you know it's as simple as that. Yeah, roundabouts. Uh, and there are there are literally loads and loads of different types of them, and they're all over the shop. I'll show you some now, and I might show you the world's biggest, or the world's stupidest, depending on your point of view.
<coughs> See, I'm, there you go, pointless roundabout. What's that there for? It's just a junction, isn't it? Another roundabout coming up, painted on the floor, pointless, ignore them. It's really a left turn, isn't it? I don't know, I'm not sure whether um, whether councils get more points for installing a roundabout. Oh, having a problem putting my um, Bluetooth onto my... I'm having a bloody pins and needles problem at the moment. Let's let's up the let's up the heated grippage. So if you um if you approach a roundabout too quickly, you know, you're you're not giving the other guy a chance to get on the roundabout. Because as soon as he's on the roundabout he has right of way. So like I say, that they only really work if you kinda of breathe out a bit, if you just relax a bit. Don't approach them at crazy speeds. Um, one of the good things though about roundabouts is that if you uh, <coughs> if you drive progressively, you know, and you can see, you know, around the roundabout, you you don't necessarily have to stop at the line. Whereas if it was a give way or a junction, you you're kind of obliged to stop at the line. So. I think if they're used properly, roundabouts can can speed the whole system up. I think the problem comes with roundabouts when people put bloody lights on them and they stop being a proper roundabout. See, so, yeah, there's a perfect example of how we should be treating pedestrians. All this traffic going along around us, well, apart from her, obviously, um, and we. Um, Everything comes to a halt when Betty wants to walk her little dog across the road. And that's how it should be. This is where roundabouts fall. Ever see the white van now blocking everyone going about their business just because he wants to get ahead of everyone else. See, if it had just breathed out a bit, relaxed, stopped at the white line here, then all those people that were going that way didn't have to drive around his ass. Oh no, my criminality braking strain is going to be triggered by the red light that we've got. Why is why are people going with the red light? Two red lights. Not good, is it? A lot. It says, says keep clear under his bus, but he's sat there like a numpty. <coughs> Not keeping clear. See, it's, it's times like this where you think, if you just did what it said, you know, these kind of things are put there for a reason. If you just did what it said, X wouldn't have happened. Yeah, so I suppose that's the other um, the other thing about roundabouts is I suppose it's a you know it's a kind of a mutual thing. You have to be um, I suppose friendly is friendly the right word? Yeah, you have to be friendly with it. You know, you adjust your timing slightly so everyone can keep moving. You know, if you um, I suppose if you approach a roundabout and you think, right, so the, the best outcome for this roundabout is if we all go round and none of us, none of us have to stop at the line. 
you know, if we all leave, um, you know, big gaps between the car in front, that people can drive, you know, can take up in a roundabout, the whole thing works much better. But everyone's driving so far up each other's arses that you can't do anything. So we're going into Swindon, the home of the magic roundabout. And nothing magic happens. In fact, I don't know why it's called the magic roundabout. Um, nope, no idea. When you see it, you'll see that it's anything but magic. So we're, we're about to go over the M4, one of our motorways, and uh, when you come off a motorway, there is generally a roundabout that you come off on. Um, and like this one, it's normally controlled by light, because obviously if somebody was, there's going to be a mass amount of traffic on the motorway coming off and possibly going into Swindon, so coming off the, off the motorway, and coming on to the roundabout and going all around to the right to come off to Swindon. Um, and if you left it like that, they'd be coming from my right as I hit the roundabout. I would never be able to get onto the roundabout because there'd always be traffic stopping me. I'd always be giving way to the traffic coming off the roundabout. So potentially there are instances where you put lights on a roundabout unless they've taken them off. Oh no, they haven't. There's no lights on this roundabout. Brilliant. So it's basically when you see a gap in the, in the on the traffic coming from the right, that's when you go. So this is what is politely known as the magic roundabout. Um, what? What I mean you mean by that is well, I suppose it's not a thing of what you mean by it. It's, um, <clears throat> so in essence, it's five roundabouts um, in the place of one because because I don't know why. Not sure why. Um, yeah, but anyway, this is the magic roundabout. Um, And this, I think, I suppose, um, when you put the word magic and roundabout together, this is not something you're you're going to imagine is what it is. Uh, so, in essence, it's just a way of controlling five ins and outs. Um, so you can you can kind of do this a number of ways. You can either go that way, or you can go around this way. Um, you know, or you can go around here and all the time all you're doing is making sure that you're looking to the right and nothing's coming to the right. That's the magic roundabout. It's easy, isn't it? I suppose it's a bit of, bit of a cop out there. I didn't go straight through the middle. That's what I should have done, maybe. There we go, more... A more normal roundabout. Okay, so so the the basic rules for roundabouts are you give way to the right um, or to anything already on the roundabout. That that's the basic rules. Now there are um, are they rules? Yeah, there are rules about how you approach a roundabout, what lane you're in, what indication you're in, and stuff. And that just that just helps with um, with people knowing where you're going on the roundabout. So if you're turning left, you're in the left-hand lane with your left-hand indicator on. Um, that's probably the simplest of the two. Um, if you're going straight on as well, you're normally in the left-hand lane. Um, no indication, but you put your left indicator on to signal that you're coming off at the next exit when you've passed the, your penultimate exit. And if you're turning right, um, believe it or not, you're in the right-hand lane with your right indicator on. Um, 
Yeah, that, that's an easy one. Okay, so mini roundabouts are no different. Um, they're just a bit stupider. Yeah, but you're all giving way to the right, so there's no difference with a mini roundabout. So to, to answer the specific question about high traffic flow, small roundabouts, what, what roundabouts are normally used for, um, certainly in the last couple of years they've been used a lot when there's a new development or when there's a problem with the traffic flow. And to kind of explain that, if you imagine this roundabout here, this this line of traffic is, is the major road, um, and then the other two are the minor roads. So either an existing minor road or... Uh, an added road. Somebody's, you know, somebody's built a load of houses and chucked a chucked a, a road onto the main road. If if this if this stayed as a junction, as a you know a, a, a T junction or a crossroads or something, people turning left would have you know uh, a difficult time getting out. People turning right would have a very difficult time getting out if the traffic flow is heavy. So by chucking a roundabout there, you're you're helping that situation out. Yeah, and, and that, that kind of seems to be the way they're dealing with um, the increased volume of traffic and stuff and allowing people to get out without putting lights in and stuff because that's, that's obviously a lot more expensive. But, and I, like I said in the video, the, the biggest problem with this is that if, if people are being dicks, no one gets out because the main road, the traffic in the main road just, just goes on to the roundabout, stays on the roundabout in one long line, and nobody lets anyone in and stuff, and, and that's where it can break down. So the system works, it's just that people are dicks.